Hello, I'm Gypsy Shell Hoffman. Um, I would like to say hello and welcome you. I wanted to do a little video on who I am and where I came from, how I got to where I am now. Um, I am a Florida girl. I grew up, um, I would say up until 2000, I lived in Florida. My family, uh, growing up on my mother's side, has a gift, and we used to always read coffee cups from the time I could remember. Uh, my aunt was notorious for all her gifts, and from there, I believe I evolved. Um, so, I guess I could say I started drinking coffee cups or, or reading coffee cups, sipping on a small cup when I was about four years old. And from there, it just, you know, that was a family thing. And people know me for my coffee cup readings. I am also a medium and psychic as well. I believe I started seeing spirit that I can remember. Um, I was about six or seven. And uh, the first time I remember it was a, a man walking into our room, into my bedroom. I was in bed. I was sharing the bed with my sister. She was a little. And um, of course I was. I was seven, six or seven. So, but anyway, um, the man was walking up and I can remember him distinctly, a full beard. He had a patch over his eye, white t-shirt on, and jeans. I mean, that's how clear I saw him. And I can remember being scared, you know, and, and covering my head up and hollering. But why nobody heard me, I don't know. But from that time on, my family never questioned me about spirit. Thank God. I talked about my pirate. And uh, things would happen throughout the years that it became kind of a joke. Everybody was comfortable. Things would happen. My alarm would go off when Mama was supposed to pick me up in the afternoon from school, but it was set for like 6 a.m., all right? And um, just different things throughout the years. And we even moved to Houston. And when we moved to Houston from Florida, he came with us, my pirate. And uh, we moved back. He came with us. And sometime or another, I think, or maybe all along, my mother knew who it was. He was a, a, a family friend that passed away right after I was born. He, um, he had cancer and um, he had lost his eye from cancer, had a beard because the cancer was all, you know, all through his jaw and his eye. So that's why he grew this beard to hide his scars. So this one time, I don't know what we were doing, but Mama made the comment, it was Eli. And I agreed, you know, she, I saw pictures of him. That was Eli, my Aunt June's husband that had passed. So, um, so from there, you know, it was just, it was a thing, you know. And I can remember my aunt taking me by the arm and saying, you know, you need to hone in. And when I was young, it's like, yeah, right. Okay, I got better things to do. So, and I was an artist throughout the years. My thing was artwork. And uh, we moved up here to North Carolina in 2000. And um, I really started working on boards. I was known throughout the state. Actually, actually, I, I competed throughout the world. I was known for my gourds and carving and wood burning and, but, um, my mother and I had made a pack. Now this is a long time before 2000. It was in 87. I was carrying Michael at the time, my eldest, that whoever went first, we would let the other know that they were around. Well, in uh, 2015, I lost my mom. And just prior to losing her, she had been telling me, Michelle, it's time to go to something different. You need to make, you need to work on something different. And she never did come right out and tell me. And when she passed, she showed me signs that she was around. 
and it's it's phenomenal to to even go into everything on how she showed me and one thing led to another and I started I decided okay okay this is it you know and I picked up the coffee cup and started reading for some friends who in turn pushed me to go further and I found where it was easy to channel spirit I it was very easy to channel spirit and that's where I had evolved you know and then I started online and here is where we are now um, I love doing what I do I have uh, out of out of all this all the generations that have had the gift it has been women but I have two boys and both of them have the gift and I'm so proud to say that but um, I've had so many people ask me you know how did I get here you know how did I become doing what I do and this is this is how it is you know and I truly love I love doing mediumship I love coffee cup reading now cards cards were kind of pushed on me by a, a friend of mine and she bought me a deck it's, and I truly do it because everybody wants it it's not my it, it's not my specialty but obviously everybody thinks it is they love my card readings and um, uh, so that's why I offer only three cards when I do a reading and during the live feeds but I love to do live feeds to give a free question or a card there but I do offer private paid readings and I just I'm trying to think is there something else I need to tell you uh, I don't know is there anything else um, I think that's it but I want to thank everyone who has supported me has coached me on you know pushed me on I have to also thank both my boys they are my number one fans I don't know what I'd do without them my my two angels and thank everyone that does support me here on YouTube here on Facebook I want to thank each and every one of you God bless you and we will see you again soon.